Well, I'm a retired civil servant and I'm a photographer. I love nature and I've been photographing for many years. As a photographer, you're always looking to challenge yourself and somebody had sent me a picture of a squirrel standing next to a Barbie bike. Well, this is the cutest thing I ever saw. And I thought, you know what? I think I can do this. When I build my diorama, I have an idea where I want him to be. And I want him to look human-like, meaning I want him to stand on his hind legs. I have to or peanuts in the diorama in places that get him standing up. Other dioramas, I use peanut butter. So peanut butter keeps him in the scene. He licks the peanut butter, and then he pops his head up and looks around. I knew I was going to have to photograph him inside my house. So I was in the middle of planning a kitchen renovation and made sure that I got the perfect window to photograph from. When a squirrel has that first movement, it's very quick. I have to wait until he gets in the, the perfect pose. was he was on a beach party and I wanted to kind of get him coming out of the tent in the morning so I put the peanuts in the tent now if you can imagine a squirrel going in an enclosed space they don't feel that safe so he goes in that tent then he shoots out of there like a rocket frame after frame after frame blur over and over and over and over and I'm like I, I don't like maybe I need to give up I, I don't know and then once he stopped in the doorway I observe owls and moose. I spend a lot of time to get those shots. It's just all pure joy, the waiting, the watching, the observing. That has built patience. I think it does uh, flow into my the rest of my life too. So inspiration for the dioramas comes from life. I have several dioramas that I have been working on over the winter. I've done a diorama for Remembrance Day, a, a bugle for the squirrel to look like he's playing. Now I know, like, how can you get him to do that? I'm going to hang it from strings. I'm going to put peanut butter on the end of it so that he reaches up to lick the peanut butter and look like he's playing it. Got a fire truck with an extension ladder, so he's going to become a fireman. Figured out what else to put in the scene for that just yet. But when I go to bed at night, these are the things I think about.